Hi guys and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico and Rufus here today on this beautiful uh, Tuesday morning, day after Labor Day. And I uh, just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, it's been over 90 days now, full-time RVing, and I just want to tell you what I think of it. Right, Rufus? Oh, okay. Oh, what, what's going on here? What are you doing? Turn around. Oh, oh I'm going to get the old ear lick. Yeah. All right. So, in any case, uh, 90 days. Yeah, boy, it went by fast. And I got to tell you, I'm really enjoying the RV life. It's very nice. It's very private. Uh, it's very um, cozy in the rig. Uh, I like the fact that I can go wherever I want. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Met some nice people. Presently here at the uh, Katie Elks. Nice place. Not my favorite place, but nice place. And the price is right. And that's why I'm staying here until the 20th, and then I'm moving on to uh, a place in Ingram, Texas, which is about 250 miles away from here. And that's also going to give me an opportunity to see how the rig runs after changing the fuel filter and our little episode that we had with the bad gas, which I am not going to beat to death today. So, what do I want to say about the RV? Well... What I can tell you is that it's uh, extremely comfortable. I sleep really well in here. I'm very fortunate. My air conditioners work really, really well. It's a 50 amp rig, so I've got two air conditioners, and they really do a good job of keeping the place cool. So I'm usually more comfortable than people in sticks and bricks. I'm telling you, this place cools right down, stays cold, can't complain. Um, what are the drawbacks of being in an RV? Gosh, uh, I, I can't really think of too many, except that it uh, takes a while to get used to uh, living in a, in a smaller space. But you know what? I can't even say that because this one does right now to me, with just me and Rufus, feels way too big. So once I got used to moving into a smaller place than where I lived before, um, it became big. Yeah, there's a lot of space in here that I don't really use. I have to go out of my way to use it. And um, I'll tell you why. The kitchen is the kitchen. You guys have a kitchen? I have a kitchen. I cook in it. That's it. When I'm done, I get out of the kitchen. Then I go sit down and eat. I usually sit down and eat at the little dinette that I have there. Or I sit down on the end of the couch and I watch TV, which is probably what you guys do. Um, after that, uh, I don't really do much in here except work on my computer and edit videos and such. So that's a little spot that I need. And then there's the bedroom. I mean, what do you do in a bedroom, right? Well, <laughs> you know, uh, it, you go in there, you sleep, you're done, you get up and you're out of there. So, yeah, this place, this thing is a little bit too big for Rufus and I. But for now, it's very fine. So I just want to give you a quick little show around the uh, the the rig today this is what it looks like when i'm living in it um there's nothing special that i did but uh one thing that i found is clutter is your enemy in an rv so it's a good idea to have a place for everything and put everything in its place that sounds like something my grandmother used to say but it's true and uh let me just show you what i've got here right now i'm sitting on the couch uh, uh that you guys are very familiar with that you've seen in many videos and um, <clears throat> let me just pan around. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. So um, obviously there's the front end of the RV, got the TV on, but I remembered to turn the sound off. Yes, I've been, I've been uh, reminded to do that by many people in some videos and it finally sank in. And Rupus has one of his spots there that he's very happy with, yep his little bed he seems to enjoy that when he's not on the couch and now he's even trying to take over my bed which he's not allowed to do so as you can see it's pretty neat here you know I got my CB radio over there I got some documents in case I need uh, if I ever get pulled over for anything or I stop at a campsite where I have memberships I got my uh, Garmin GPS there got my backup camera I've got my little AC thing that turns into three and it's got a USB charger and everything on it. Got my little clutter holder down there for paper and stuff, sunglasses, little rag pens, you know, that kind of stuff. 
Um, I keep a cooler up here close by just so I don't if I do pull over in a rest area I don't have to go crazy uh, running to the back or whatever but mostly there's uh, most of the time there's nothing in it but I just do keep it there um, I got a towel and a little a little um, blanket for Rufus the towel is uh, just in case you know you never know sometimes you spill something or whatever you need to grab a towel and then I've got um, I've got some wall art there <laughs> had to keep that and there's a trunk that I just didn't want to get rid of it's one of those old uh, sea baron trunks that they used to put on the ships belong to my mom and dad and I decided to put my computer and stuff on there and here you can see the couch the other end of it all right toys toys for Rufus oh yeah and here's my little bucket seat that I made well I didn't really make it I just flipped it over and what this is is one of those hunting pillows you know keeps my butt comfortable on top of the bucket and I love the thing because it's so light it's got a little handle on it and I bring it out to the picnic tables and such so I don't get any splinters in my beautiful little butt. You know what I mean? Yes, it's a beautiful little butt. Okay, and I'm sticking to that story. So, let me show you the rest of the place. As I say, clutter is your enemy. This is where I put my garbage. I usually take it out every day, okay? Uh, whenever I have mail or something that's got to go out, I put it up here. Got some more wall ornament over there and uh, keys, fire extinguisher. And um, this is my little dinette. I have a cup of coffee here, which uh, I'm going to be drinking again. I just decided to make this video. As you can see, I try and keep it clutter free. Bag of dog food that we just picked up and the sink try and keep that nice and clean never know you know and that's where I put stuff also when I'm traveling so that I don't have to you know put it up in the cabinets and stuff there's my little coffee maker and let me see if I can turn on a light here and I think I showed you guys before my little holding place back there which is working out phenomenally well I got my little panini maker there and I've got one coffee can for coffee grounds after I make them so that it doesn't drip out of the trash bag and then I got my regular coffee and my little espresso machine which I love and uh, back there is the bedroom we don't need to go back there right now because it's dark and here's my little spice rack which works out so well uh, while I'm traveling none of the spices fall out of there they stay nice and uh, tight against the wall and I can see them and use them when I need them there's my uh, little garbage bag dispenser. Rufus's food in the container there. When it gets empty, I fill it up. There's his uh, food um, plate down there and his water plate. He's pretty good about being pretty neat. Of course, he's a dog, so you know, how, how neat can he be, right? And this is where I spend a little time, watch my TV from here. As you can see, it's a perfect view to the TV, right? So that's pretty handy and uh, that's about it uh, as I say just clutter 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 that's the one thing that I had to get used to getting getting put away because it just can be a real pain uh, the other thing that you have to do is you gotta watch what you buy when you go to the store for groceries doesn't make any sense to pick up a whole bunch of groceries because it just uh, makes it hard to get at in the cabinets and such you don't want to fill up the refrigerator like you do at a normal house and have stuff you know turning into little science projects uh, all over the refrigerator so I try and buy only what I'm going to use for the next few days and that also gives me an excuse to go out and explore the area uh, try different stores and and see what's going on and if I see something uh, unique to the area or special then I purchase it and I don't have to worry about spoilage um, the other thing that's a little different is food prep trying to prepare food in the RV it's just the, the, the countertops and such are just not conducive, and at least in my rig, to, to cooking a big meal. You know, I don't know why. Um, one of the things that was missing on this rig, and I'm going to make uh, brand new, is the little inserts that go into the sink to kind of make it another surface. I'm going to uh, make those uh, eventually so that I do have a little bit more surface area there. So food prep can be a little difficult sometimes. 
And the other thing is uh, combating the loneliness. I mean, uh, you do get lonely when you're living with your dog, and sometimes you're someplace where other people are working and they're not around. So, you know, it gets a little gloomy. But guess what? If you, if you just stick to your routine, you know, do your computer work, watch a little TV, do a little cooking, have your lunch, call friends, things like that, really, really easy to get over the loneliness. Plus, a walk with the dog, uh, go exploring. There's actually plenty to do. I think when you say you're lonely, it's just a mental thing that you have to get over with. You're not really lonely. You're just not doing anything, and you're boring yourself. So that's the what I think. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick tour, a quick update on the fact that 90 days full-time RV, and actually over that, 96, I think. Uh, everything's great. I'm loving it. Can't wait to move on. Can't wait to get out west. Can't wait to caravan with somebody. By the way, yeah, if you're interested in caravanning, let me know. I would love to get together with somebody in caravan. Somebody's got like interest, you know, pull over and find a place to stay for a couple of nights, uh, do some grilling, sit around a campfire. I would love doing that. So if you're interested uh, and you're in the area and you're heading my way, uh, let me know. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Plenty of things happening pretty soon. All righty, guys. We'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye, and don't forget to be happy.